I was a bit of a topper even in school, but the mentorship was extremely helpful. They have to choose their circle very carefully, go through my mistakes with them, understand where I went wrong, why did that happen. Hi, legend has it that if you really want something, the universe will align itself to give you that. One such story, one such success, one such student of Allen Career Institute we have here with us today, and that is Pranshu. He is a recent pass out of NEET 2025 and in this interview we are going to talk about his success stories, his journey so far, his challenges, his daily day routines, his efficiency, productivity skills and everything to do with the exam. Let's go. Hi Pranshu, thank you for choosing to be a part of this interview today. In this interview, we'll walk through um, your journey of two years at Allen and um, your academic journey so far. So, are you ready for it? Yes, thank you for having me on. It's my pleasure. All right, thank you for being a part of it, like I said. Uh, first, first things first, walk us through your academic journey at Allen. I joined Allen in uh, ninth standard, but uh, at that time, it was nothing serious. Like. I mainly focused on uh, school and Alan basically supplemented that. So 9th and 10th it was just that and for our batch NDSC got cancelled. So 9th and 10th Alan was like my go-to if I needed any doubt solving. But uh, the main preparation started in 11th standard where I started preparing for NEET. So 11th and 12th I continued in Alan. I got admission through ASAT. I wrote Talentex as well. And then uh, basically I got a scholarship through my good performance in 11th grade for 12th grade. And it just continued on uh, and then basically uh, I wrote NEAT as, uh, and uh, my result is basically half me and half Alan, I would consider it so. That's nice. Uh, were you always an academically oriented child? I mean, uh, that answer would be, if you ask different people who know me, it would be different because <laughs> many of my friends know me as the person who used to study uh, little, like less than others but still do really well. But at the end of the day, uh, in 11th and 12th, I uh, decided to make the decision to cut off everything, like all the distractions and just focus on my preparation. And uh, I worked really hard during my 11th and 12th. So I was a bit of a topper even in school. But the, the point is that when everyone gets to 11th and 12th, everyone is a topper of their own schools. And the real competition starts in 11th. So uh, I made the conscious choice to like uh, give up, you know, like uh, extracurriculars only for a short while. I did it here and there, but not as much as I used to. So although I did get good scores, uh, I would attribute it to be like everyone was at the same page in 11th grade. Everyone started at the same at the same spot. Okay, that's nice. Uh, why choose Alan and why choose Neat? What inspired you to do both? Well, for Neat, it's more of a personal choice. Uh, I wanted to leave my foot footprint on this planet at least uh, as a human being. But uh, why I chose Alan was because I was already familiar with the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. As one of my my elder brother had already joined Alan when he was in ninth grade. So, and as soon as I joined Alan, I realized that Alan has one of the best study cultures that you will ever find. Uh, that is that not only uh, if you are feeling demotivated, then uh, my friends and my mentors and my teachers and all, they helped me, they helped to motivate me a lot. And I felt like the campus is also really good, the Allen campus, because a lot of uh, other campuses, they lack air conditioned uh, classrooms and proper benches. Like a lot of the times the benches are shaky, but in Allen, the facilities are extremely top, top notch. Uh, Alan also had a canteen with uh, like the food that I wanted so I decided to join Alan uh, as well as uh, the doubt solving program and the mentorship was extremely helpful uh, during my 9th and 10th which is why I decided to just continue my 11th and 12th preparation in Alan. Uh, the second reason why I chose Alan is because I realized that Alan's material is one of the like I would say the best material in the country because uh, it encompasses a wide range of questions that will give you a proper idea on how you can go through your preparation. Right. Um, you talked about mentorship, you talked about the faculty bond that you have. Uh, walk us through that a little more. What What is the bond or the relationship you share with the faculty and your peers? Uh, Alan, meet the teachers are extremely caring. It's not just to like the topper students, but everyone, even the average students, they show extreme uh, care to them. Because uh, a lot of the times, just uh, apart from focusing on the academics, they also gave priority to our mental and emotional state and uh, made sure to like keep checking on us to make sure that we're on the right state, we're in the right, right state of mind and like that we're not burnt out. So uh, obviously academics are important, but our teachers also uh, made sure that we had fun in class and uh, made it an overall fun experience. And it ended up becoming such that all of us, I, I essentially looked forward to coming to Allen every day. And that is not even an exaggeration. It was really not a, no longer part of Alan. It feels a bit uh, like sad that I don't get to come to Alan to see my teachers and talk to them, right? But uh, yeah. 
you are always welcome here thank you so um, much but when you talk about classes being fun and the fact that you had a lot of exposure here with the mentorship and um, the faculty bond that you share how important do you think that is the environment that you are surrounded with how important do you think that is in your preparation i feel like if i would tell any of my juniors uh, anything it would only be that uh, or one of the most important points would be that they have to choose their circle very carefully i feel like uh, if there's a saying that you know you should surround yourself with like minded people okay. so i completely believe in that because when i joined allen i realized that uh, since everyone around me was working so hard and the faculty was essentially motivating us so well it promoted my uh, performance extremely well like i noticed a drastic change in my own performance once i actually in- inculcated these uh, habits into my own life uh, and allen's program is also designed in such a way that uh, it's meant to help you more because the uh, the allen online app it gives you a good uh, detailing of your like doubts and uh, your tests analysis there's even an in- improvement book for you to go back to your uh, like mistakes uh, so all of that the entire allen program is just uh, made in such a way that we all can like uh, promote ourselves and each other correct um so as you are aware at allen we we take the tests very seriously the minor tests the major tests and there's doubt counters mm-hmm. and there's um improvement book like you just mentioned uh, and we take it very seriously we do it with such rigor do you think it helps in the long run absolutely like you mentioned allen's test series as a student who uh, i would say i'm well informed about every coaching's uh, tests because i would have given a few of them as well okay. i would say that allen's test series are uh, especially beneficial because they not only cover a particular type of test but they give you different types of tests so that yeah. you can really understand uh, the different types of papers that can come like neat 2025 would be considered a moderate to tough paper but the previous neat like neat 2024 would be considered an easy to moderate paper so uh, allen especially compared to the other coaching institutions as my observation is that they make uh, a wide range of tests so in allen we wrote many many tests and they were they range from very easy tests to extremely like not extremely but difficult tests so they give you the best idea on how what you really need to focus on because even if you know how to do difficult questions you might struggle on the easy ones but a lot of the other coaching institutions and stuff they focus on only a certain type of test paper and that test paper pattern is repeated understood okay so um, from whatever i he- i hear you say that allen gives you a totality of what you are exactly. expected to work on that's that's good that's good put in perspective well um, how did you handle your emotions in the highs and lows when you know marks fell down obviously it can't be everybody's day all the time so on bad days how did you cope with your emotions and what what made you come back and take more effort exactly on bad days everyone has bad days uh, even the uh, most smartest people will have bad days where they feel like they're not doing the right things and uh, i feel like in everyone's experience this is a guaranteed uh, thing to happen but in on my bad days the way i used to handle it is first i used to speak to my teachers i used to obviously uh, like go through my mistakes with them understand where i went wrong why did that happen and i used to understand that that was not the end of it all even if i did really well it was not guaranteed that i would do really well later so i just had to keep my head up because the important thing to understand is that uh, any preparation is not just like a single run it's a whole marathon you cannot yeah. stop running maybe here and there you might have like slow starts or like you might feel tired but at the end of the day you just have to keep going because you have to make it to the finish line at the end of the day so i used to just keep motivating myself my teachers also used to motivate me my friends also used to motivate me saying that uh, you know they would encourage me more tell me not to be so sad about my marks right and uh, also the second thing would be that uh, i used to just uh, motivate myself by say, by uh, giving myself goals essentially i gave myself goals that for the next test i have to reach a certain level of performance and if i reach that then i would be extremely overjoyed or even if i didn't i would just uh, give myself a goal for the next exam also Right, right. Um, so, need essentially is not a sprint; it's a marathon, exactly. and you need your breaks and you need the rest. Mm-hmm. But um, there are a couple of people that believe that when they take rest, they're wasting time, um, and they end up being not productive. So, what do you have to say about that? And um, how important do you think rest and sleep and the basic nutrients are for your efficiency? I would say, in my journey, I sleep is one of the most important factors. I used to try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep every day. because i did not want to compromise on that right uh, a lot of times we may be we may be like we may believe that uh, we have to like cut down on sleep but a lot of times what we can do is just cut down on other things instead of sleep if we actually look through our schedule so i made sure to like look through my own schedule and see where i'm actually losing time 
obviously it's important to study but at the same time it's important to make sure that you're not going to get burnt out because if you do study continuously for very long hours without taking any breaks you are going to get burnt out and burnout did happen to us as well that time and all we just used to like uh, do other activities like maybe i used to talk to my own friends my school friends i used to go play football i used to do any other extra curricular activity but only for a limited and controlled amount of time i made sure not to like spend too much time on that but essentially that's what kept me alive during my preparation right right now consistency is like the key to any success like you rightly attributed and we appreciate you for that Thank but you. at the end of the day you are also a teenager who wants to go out and have fun and live the college life um did you ever felt like did you ever feel like you miss out on that i mean uh, yeah there were many times but i would say that uh, social media is a very big problem with all of us teenagers uh, it was a problem with me as well as in I used to use it a lot when I was in uh, school especially I used to use it for lo long hours because it's designed in that way that uh, it's supposed to entrap us into like using it for extremely long durations of time so I feel like the best way to stop like you're feeling like you're missing out is to uh, stop using social media so that's what I did I essentially deactivated all my uh, social media like Instagram Twitter right, all that I deactivated right. all that during my preparation and I feel like the first thing that helped me to stop was watching reels and uh, mm. like indulging in all those uh, uh, brain drain and time spending activities yeah. instead uh, and the second thing was also that uh, i prevented myself from like the fear of missing out right. so right. I, by the the fact that i was not looking at all that uh, all those distractions meant that uh, i didn't have time to like even think about them right. so i feel like that was mainly how i stopped myself from doing that uh i would say i would encourage my juniors as well to at least stop or even like limit your social media usage because the one of the best uh, ways to stop that is just like eliminate it uh, instead of like even limiting it because uh, limiting it also you can still fall into a trap again right, right. so yeah that's my answer out of sight out of mind yes right well done uh let's talk about your subject competence a little uh, were there subjects that you were strong at there are subjects that you're weak at or were you all balanced out in every every subject i mean uh, funnily enough the like the subject i would consider myself to be weakest at was biology even though i'm a neat student right. my uh, i would unheard say of. yeah very unheard of but uh, i would say one subject that i was especially proficient in was physics only physics okay. uh, but essentially what was it the case was that i enjoyed studying every subject it was not like any subject was a hassle for me every subject was equally enjoyable right and obviously every subject has certain chapters which are uh, annoying to study i would say but uh, there are only few if you look at the pros and cons there are the pros will outweigh the cons because you can find a lot of enjoyment in studying very fun chapters and uh, yeah right right um walk us through the exam day because um this year 2025 it's deemed to be the toughest toughest neat paper so how how were your emotions before and after you attempted the paper emotions before were completely fine uh, i spoke to my teachers on the day of the exam and even before the exam uh, they encouraged me to just stay calm and uh, not to panic during the exam which is the most important thing to do so after speaking to them uh, and my mentors everything seemed fine i spoke to my parents before the exam as well and i walked into the exam hall feeling confident because i knew my preparation would uh, sustain me right uh, i had put in 2 years of hard work and everyone else also did that but uh, i was feeling confident the, on the uh, when i when i received the paper Uh, that nerves were the highest essentially at the time because uh, like right before the paper came into my hand i was thinking okay this is like the end of my journey but uh, i worked it all out i started with physics mm. uh, i physics like i got an idea of the paper at that time mm. only right. i realized that uh, they wanted to like challenge us a little more Correct. so i changed my strategy during the exam to right. work out as many correct questions as i can okay uh, and i focused on maximizing my marks okay because in a tough paper generally the teachers and i talent suggest us to do the same to okay. maximize our marks instead of getting negative uh, and uh, i tried to work out every single question i could possibly do during that time frame 3 hour time frame and my main goal during the exam was that i i did not want to go home and regret a question that i knew but i did not attempt that was my right. main goal Right. So the nerves uh, I think I just forgot about all of them. Mm -hmm. I essentially I was put in a trance basically as soon okay. as uh, as okay. soon as I realized that uh, there's a possibility that the paper can go bad I started accelerating and uh, some of all my all my efforts of uh, like preparation that I put in it uh, yeah. it just it just came back it just kept coming back when I kept reading the question. So right. yeah. Right. 
So um, is that your coping strategy? Would you suggest that to um, your juniors? Because you know, at the state of panic after two years of hard work, nobody can beat that, right? Mm. Um, there, there'll be a lot, pe lot of people telling this. This is something you can do. This is something you can do to calm your nerve. But at that moment, how did you feel uh, when you saw that and you went into that trance? And how did you co come back and cope up efficiently? I feel like uh, mm. the the thing is that whatever anybody says how somebody behaves in that situation is understood only in that situation and Correct. i feel like it was definitely the case in me 2025 yeah. every situation truly understood that uh, whether they can deal with the pressure or not yeah uh, and i feel like the most important thing was that it was a shock to all of us that Correct. we did not expect such a difficult paper Correct. obviously we expected a bit harder but not this difficult Correct. but essentially i would suggest that if you're having problems with coping with pressure and panic, my teacher gave me the strategy that uh, because I was making too many mistakes uh, as I was not thinking properly, he told me that every time you complete a subject, just take a breather and uh, just do nothing for 60 minutes, just cl no, 60 seconds, just close your eyes because that time lost is not actually lost. It's invested in giving you mental peace so that you can do other questions right. So even during NEET, whatever time I had, I made sure just to breathe properly and just to continue. And I made sure just to keep my eyes focused on the questions. Apart from that, for panic and pressure, I would suggest uh, everyone has their own way of dealing with it. Just keep experimenting and ultimately what works for you, uh, you can use it. But try to put yourself in those situations. The most important thing is practice. Right. So if right. we practice putting ourselves in these pressurized situations, it will it'll eventually end up working in the final as well. And at Allen okay. also, we tried inculcating this into our uh, uh, work because we tried writing test papers when we could hear loud traffic. We tried writing test papers at home when our parents were talking. Our teachers suggested these activities to us, considering the fact that these are the deciding factors that uh, right. give someone a better rank than the others. So our teachers were very helpful and they even mentally prepared us for a tough paper saying that whatever happens, we should not lose our cool and uh, yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything that you want to impart to your juniors? Any piece of advice apart from this that you've already given? I would say, um, obviously, it might be frightening for some juniors mm -hmm. after seeing this paper, considering like they'll start reevaluating their uh, preparation in a negative manner. Correct. I would say that's not the that's not the right mindset to have. I feel like every junior should feel uh, proud and confident in themselves because this is the best opportunity to really uh, define themselves as a student because uh, a paper like this is almost guaranteed, especially now, to really distinguish uh, students in the right manner. Obviously, the, the purpose of an examination is to uh, give the best students the best uh, score and uh, in average students an average score. Right. So yeah. ultimately, the students should be happy that at least they have the opportunity to get what they deserve. Uh, a lot Correct. of times in the previous years, uh, it was such that a simple mistake can cost you your entire mm -hmm. preparation. But mm -hmm. now, uh, it, might, it might be a little easier to uh, uh, actually work harder and uh, they should feel confident is what I want to say. Correct. They should feel extremely confident because uh, this only promises good things. A harder paper only promises good things and just uh, focus on the concepts, right? Uh, all the physics derivations, all the physics concepts was mainly important because I studied physics in a way that mm. not just for like the exam. I studied mm. physics just because I enjoyed studying physics. Correct. I feel Correct. like that that helped me a lot because Correct. not only did that give me the capability to solve difficult questions, but it also mm. gave me the capability to solve them in less time. Right, right. The yeah. efficiency. Exactly. Correct. Correct. So that was my message. Right. Thank you so, so much for your time. We at Allen are very happy and mighty proud of what you've achieved. And the two years will be looked down upon and it would be smiled so hard. Um, thank you for being a part of us. And um, this is your moment. Take it away. If there's anything you want to tell the crowd. Uh, Anybody you want to thank? Any last notes? I would like to thank my, my teachers, my chemistry faculty. He was a very big inspiration in my life. He was the main. Uh, he was the main like driving factor be behind me, uh, like pre preparing really hard because uh, I wanted to like make him like make him proud of me because he inspired me a lot. The way he t he taught me, the way he listened to my questions, it was uh, very very uh, motivational for me. So I would like to thank him All and right. my parents. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for your time and your effort here. Okay.